everybody welcome back to another video here on the channel and this one i'm showing you my car because i have not ever done this before so i'm going to be going through and showing you a tour of it so this car is a 2005 mercury sable ls sedan it has about 201 horsepower three liter v6 engine um it's a duratec engine it's a uh, mercury if you don't know is made by ford and uh i've had it for over a year now probably a year and a half or so and it's been a good car um i got it for my great grandma and she is like 93 and um she stopped driving so she wanted to do something with the car so i uh took it over and um brought it back to life because it was not too rough but it was getting a little rough and i kind of revived it so i'll go over the first things that i did with it um on here on the front I put two new headlight lamps in it. These are the Eagle lamps. Um, because the old ones were all hazed out and all that. I have these foam pieces under here to angle up the lights a little bit more. Because they're pointing down a lot and kind of making it hard to have headlights. And then there's two LED bulbs in there. You might be able to see them. They're pretty bright. Um, been working good. Um... There's no point in showing you under the hood. If you want to see that, you can see it. Um, it's not really needed anything under the hood other than um, change the oil in it once. Last year, it's not due, or it's not ready for it yet. It's not dirty enough. And a new AC compressor, which happened about a month ago. And a new serpentine belt because the bearing on the compressor clutch uh, seized up and snapped my old serpentine belt off. So that was fun. Anyway, on the side, um, I got I put um, these hand cook. Kennergy cut tires on it. They are the 215 60R16s. Um, they've been working good. They've been good tire. Um, I got them for I think 78 or so dollars a piece. They've been working good. The ones on the back are just ones that bit on it. I think they're Duro is what they say. Um, they have plenty of tread, so they're fine. Um, going in on the driver's side. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a tan interior with uh, leather and the wood grain. So uh, this is what the door panel looks like. It's pretty simple. Uh, and here I keep, I just have one of those manual or original like tire gauges. And then I have a bottle of cleaning solution. I know I need to clean this. Cleaning solution for my tape head cleaner. Um, and then here I have some Walmart floor mats. And then um, the seat and all that. So we'll get in now. Here I have a um, steering wheel cover because the steering wheel was kind of starting to wear a little bit. You can see like kind of right there. It's just starting to get kind of worn out. Um, nothing really too special about the driver's part. Um, I have that rear view mirror. I have my dash camera right here. It's the Rexing. Um, I don't know the rest of it. It's a Rexing dash cam. I'll put it in the description. It's been pretty good. I have a Whistler uh, radar detector right there. And then I have a Skosh, I think is what it's called. A, a magnetic foam mount there. And then down here, I have my... Well, I have my cable. It runs down. My school parking permit um, runs down into that. We'll go with that here in a minute. Um, the radio and everything's been stock. I didn't put in a new one uh, because or aftermarket one because all of this has to come out including the HVAC controls and all that climate controls so um, I just decided I've been using this cassette adapter it's Phillips been working pretty good I got it off eBay for like $10 it works good camera's not focused okay um, that's pretty cool down here I have a super one um, little 12 volt car inverter it has two 12 volt outlets one type c outlet that produces 18 watts one uh qualcomm quick charge 3.0 um, 3 amp uh usb output and then a regular 2.4 amp one and then it also reads your voltage of your battery um, i found this to be pretty accurate uh so that's good and then those buttons on top just turn those outlets on and off the 12 volt ones so i had those on my dash cam in radar detector so I can turn them on and off and they don't stay on all the time um nothing over here 
in here I just keep a bunch of things I have literally just a bunch of things that aren't really important some chargers and um, earring protection that's about all for that and really that's about all for the front like I said this car isn't gonna be that exciting if you thought it was gonna be exciting you're wrong um, I'll go ahead and pop this because I didn't bring my keys out with me um, in the back nothing really back here either it's just a back seat uh, it's pretty I mean it's not super spacious but it's got a decent amount of space back here I keep some sunshades there for the windshield um, it's not really you know a big car but it's definitely got a little bit of room you got an armrest here it's a sedan so it's not like a compact car it's not an uh, economy car but it's, it's a sedan so it's got a little bit of room but not a whole lot but not or not, I wouldn't say a whole lot but a bunch but it's pretty comfortable and then here in the back, I'm sure everyone's gonna, everyone thinks I'm ridiculous for what I carry in the back. Okay, so over here I got some window cleaner, because I never did take that out when I cleaned the windows one day. I have a little uh, multimeter here that I got from Harbor Freight for like $4. It's worked pretty good, so I keep it back here because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, here I have the heart, I think it's 206 or something like that, mechanics tool set, piece tool 206, I think 206, it's 200 something piece mechanics tool set. It's got a lot of things in it, I can make a video about that. This video is going to be too long though if I make a video about it. But I keep it in here because, you know, I've had to work on things and, you know, had times where I needed my tools. So it's just cool to keep them in here. I have an extension cord that I need to take back to the band room at school. Box that I'm recycling. And then some jumper cables I got at Harbor Freight. I had to use them one time for somebody else's car. They worked pretty good. Then under here I have a spare tire, a four-way like lug wrench. And I'm going to check and see if there's anything else. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much all for this car. I'm thinking about putting my aluminum floor jack in there just so I have a jack to jack up this car in case there's a tire blowout because I don't have a scissor jack because I broke it um so yeah I mean that's about it for this car um it's been a good car it does good on gas mileage it gets about 27 miles per gallon on the highway um most of the time so it does pretty good and uh it's been a good car so far it's been reliable this car has 101,000 uh six or seven hundred so it's not really been that used um i put about three thousand on it or so since uh i got well really it's been about five thousand and i put a little over a thousand on it since i got my license so um yeah anyways guys uh that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you enjoyed this car um and if you have any questions about it or you want to see something specific on it let me know and uh I'll, i can make that video all right, guys. Take care.